Of the great War of the Ring, many songs have been sung and many tales told. The names of heroes like Gandalf the Grey, Aragorn the King, and Frodo the Ringbearer are greatly revered, and rightly so. Yet Sauron's grasp stretched much further than the lands of Gondor and Rohan alone. And his forces might have done great evil in the north of Middle-earth, had a handful of heroes not stood in his path. Their stories, too, deserve to be told. Pay heed now to one such tale, which begins here in the town of Bree, just a few short days before Frodo arrived on his quest. Aragorn. Enadon. Well met. And in company with Andriel of Rivendell and Farin of Erebor. An unlikely trio to find walking through the doors of the Prancing Pony. You were at San Ford last I knew. Do you bear news from Harbalad? Yes. Grim news. I feared it would be so. Quickly, tell me what has happened, but keep your voices low. There are unfriendly ears, even here in Bree. Three days passed. The guard at Son Ford was attacked by nine black riders. Stand fast, Rangers! We were overwhelmed, and the enemy passed into the Shire. This is worse than I imagined. I know these riders. It is from Mordor they come. Our folk could not hope to stand against the nine together. How bad were our losses? Very bad. We tried to resist them, but they were surrounded by an aura of unnatural dread. There is more you should know. After the rout, one of the Black Riders met with an ally. A man of great malice and power. Agnawa. As a master commanded, I have stirred up the orcs of the mountains. Even now, I have a force gathering amid the ruins of Old Fornost. Return at once, and prepare your forces. We will have need of them soon. My orcs will be ready. These lands have known peace for too long. They will soon feel the Dark Lord's wrath. Akendau has a force at Fornost, then our position grows all the more desperate. But why all this force against the peaceful halflings? It can't be the enemy sees them as a threat. I will say this much. There is a hobbit of the Shire who should be coming this way with a great burden. If it falls into the hands of the enemy, it will mean doom for us all. Now this hobbit is adrift on the road with enemies all around. I must find him before they do. And I need you to help me keep him safe. You are my chieftain. I will gladly do whatever you command. I, I'm a part of this now as well. Then we three are of one mind. How can we aid you? We must reduce the threat from the enemies gathered at Fornost. Travel there and do whatever you can to keep the enemy's eye turned towards you and away from the Shire. Perhaps we will have help in this task. Eladan and Elro here were in the north when last I heard. Any gathering of the enemy is certain to attract their attention. Good, good. You can find no better allies than this half-elvet, half-elvet. I hope we meet. With or without help, the enemy will be kept busy. We'll make sure of that. We'll make sure of that.
might even now be under the gaze of unfriendly eyes. Well, we came to provide a distraction for Aragorn, and what better way to do that than walking in the front door? Let's be about it. Foul creatures!
Just what I needed. Is everyone unhurt? These ruins are not sound. We must fight. Anon Edron the army. I will take this.
What creature could be making those cries? Yeah, 
I thank you, friends. Without your timely arrival, my death would have been slow, but certain. Why, you are speaking. Why, of course I am. The great eagles of the north speak as well as any elf. I am called Belaram. My home is in the Misty Mountains, and I serve Gwaihir, Lord of Eagles. Who is it I have to thank for my rescue? I am Andriel, and I belong to the household of Elrond Half-Elven, the Lord of Imladris. My companions are Foran and Aradan. Then I am indebted to you, Andriel of Imladris, and to your friends. What brought you here to Fornost? I often range far across the lands of the north, gathering news for Gwaihir, my lord. When I saw activity here in long-abandoned Fornost, I grew curious and flew lower to investigate. How did the goblins manage to capture you? I was careless, and the goblins were well prepared. They used war machines to fire bolts that exploded around me. I was stunned and fell from the sky. When I came to my senses, I was bound and helpless, even as you found me. Were you able to determine who it is that leads this force? I saw a tall man, heavily armored. The goblins obeyed his commands. Who he is, I cannot say, but he had an aura of menace, like one tainted by the shadow. That must be Agandar. You know this man? He is a servant of the Dark Lord. We must find him, and destroy him if we are able. I will assist you, but it would be perilous. The enemy has positioned war machines upon the inner wall. They limit my ability to fly freely. If we could reach the top of the wall, we might be able to destroy the machines. Beyond those doors, you will find a passage and stairs leading up to the wall. The machines are certain to be heavily guarded. We could be walking into a trap. I will take to the air and draw their fire. If we are fortunate, that will allow you to gain the top of the wall unobserved. Very well. Let us begin.